Hey, how's it going? John Dorsey, work with JohnD.net. In this video, I'm going to talk about how how hypocritical or how lazy people are. Right after this. John Dorsey, work with JohnD.net. I want you to try to be overwhelmed. All right, so welcome back. So recently I surveyed my email list and one of my one of the first couple of responses or at least one of the responses I got from one of my subscribers was like the first question I asked them what is the what is the major problem or what is the biggest problem that they are dealing with right now when it comes to making money online or the, you know building a business online and they replied or their the box that they checked was that they are having an issue or they can't find a simple process to make money online and the next question or one of the follow-up questions to that was if I can show you how to solve that problem for basically for free would you dedicate 60 minutes to uh, looking at or hearing about my solution and they said no uh, and this is the mentality of a lot of people who claim they want to have an online business or claim that they want to make money online is that they don't want to solve their problems they want the easy route they actually want they want they want the lottery they want a lottery system they want a, a, a system the idea of a simple process is uh, basically like playing the lottery I want to be able to fill out a little form and some people don't even want to do that, but I want to be able to fill out a form and then all of a sudden money starts coming in. Where do you have to be mentally to, to say that, you know, I'm trying to, the idea behind the survey is I'm trying to see where my, my subscribers are as far as their thought processes and as far as what, what, are, what are their struggles so that I can cater my training and, and, and my follow up videos to help them with their major issues or their major problems. What kind of mentality does it take does a person to have to have to say, okay, I'm having this problem and I don't want to hear your solution to my problem? <laughs> That's like going to a, the, the doctor's office. Hey, I'm having this problem, you know, in my neck, but I don't want to spend an hour in the doctor's office figuring out what the problem is. Obviously, if you're going to subscribe to a person's email list, it's because you're looking for a solution to, to a problem. You're looking to see if you can get out of the rat race you should trying to get uh try to do something different in your life you know and those kind of people on your list you want them to unsubscribe and maybe this person did i don't know but you want those people to go away because there's nothing you can do for them they're not ready mentally to make the change so you don't want to waste your time with them you do want to make time for people who are willing to sit down and hear what you have to say hear what your solution is and then from there they make a decision whether or not they want to move forward and that's all the survey is a survey is all about so this is a, and and if you have an email list if you're building an email list i suggest that you survey your list at least a couple times a year that way you get an idea of what what their problems are what their major struggles are what are they dealing with and then you can start catering or, or tailoring your you can start tail, tailoring your your videos your blog posts uh, basically your content overall to the majority of your subscribers major problems you know maybe that major problem is getting leads so that means you can start focusing on providing training for leads or webinars and stuff like that or a product you know get you know uh sending them product that will help them with uh, lead generation or converting traffic to leads um uh, Maybe that is maybe maybe that major issue is traffic. So you, then you can start focusing on traffic generation techniques and stuff like that. Maybe that major issue is uh, sales. You know, getting conversions. So then you can focus on conversions. If you're in MLM, MLM, if you are in MLM or network marketing, maybe that issue is prospecting. Maybe that issue is uh, getting on the phone. And then you can start training about how to get on the phone. Or you can find solutions, whether it's a product that they have to buy or uh, finding webinars where you can send your leads to a webinar or a or find someone who's an expert in lead generation or uh, phones using the phone and get them on a webinar find their blog post and share it with your list because you're trying to build that you want you want to get your, your list to know like and trust you and the only way you're going to do that is by providing value 
and then once you build it up enough send them enough value they'll become they'll come to know like and trust you and then they are more likely to buy from you so that's just all I want to say in this video that you're gonna have these knuckleheads out there that's going to give you a hard time they're gonna waste your time most people will probably waste your time you know you'll have let's say thousands and thousands of people who may be following what you're doing or your email list or, or following you on Instagram and the majority of those people will be time wasters but you don't need to have a lot of people who are serious to make a difference so that's all I want to say in this video if you got some value out of it like it share it if you want to team up with me and see what I'm doing uh, click the link below this video and it'll take you to the system the formula I use to make a difference so that's it for this video I'll talk to you again soon